Hello everyone, this is Babamot. Welcome to another Homeworlds game commentary. Today we've got Gregory from Earth versus The Roundabout. Uh, Gregory's been playing somewhat longer than The Roundabout, I believe, but both are quite good players, so I'm excited to see what happens. Gregory goes first and takes a yellow banker. The Roundabout takes a red medium Gemini. I have just recently been doing uh, some actual data analysis, and it's looking like small universes uh, tend to favor the player who went first a little bit, but there's there's a lot more analysis to do to back that up. But um, seeing the second player choose a Gemini system that will make the universe small made me think of that anyway. All right, let's see what happens. Both players build. Gregory trades for yellow. Uh, Gregory hits the draw button. Takes it back and trades for blue. Okay, well that was a, a misclick, I guess. Um, oh, it looks like the, the draw offer remained on the board, but I bet roundabout won't take it. Too early for that. And I think draws automatic, draw offers off, automatically get cancelled if they aren't accepted the first time. Alright, they both traded for blue, so they've opened up the mediums quickly. Gregory takes one, roundabout takes one. Uh, neither player has room for building the larges yet. Uh, Gregory is going to yeah, take advantage of their yellow home star to spread out their blues to give them the opportunity to build a, uh, a large if roundabout doesn't trade away. Roundabout is surely going to trade for yellow. Um, I'm a little surprised they didn't take the medium yellow, since a medium yellow would put uh, make it so they had a blue that was in striking within striking distance of Gregory's home, so that if Gregory built blue at home, Roundabout could uh, destroy their star. Gregory declines to pursue blue further for the moment, and takes green instead. Roundabout follows. Gregory getting into yellow as well. Not wanting to get left behind, perhaps. Roundabout also gets into red. Uh, this isn't a good time for Gregory to get any red. Uh, yeah, so they that's not too bad. That that does trade away their only blue star at home, which is not necessarily a bad thing since they've still got a blue star at home. Um, I like to keep ships of every color, even at home when I can, but uh, matching the star can become a liability eventually. Uh, but it was very important for Gregory to get a red somewhere, since um, otherwise Roundabout could invade the colony and have the opportunity to capture where Gregory wouldn't. So this is good. All right, roundabout. Uh, discovers a new colony, and we are really uh, in very, very mirrored positions as much as they can with uh, such dif such different uh, home worlds, home different home world stars. That is okay. Gregory takes takes green. Roundabout goes for more blue. Gregory also takes blue. Uh, neither player is going to want to build that first large, I think. Uh, roundabout might trade one away. Trades a blue, yeah. Medium yellow, I like having... Medium yellows are one of some of my favorite ships because they're... They're enough to sacrifice to get two moves at once, but it, you don't have to give up a large ship. Very uh, high utility ship. Okay. Gregory also takes medium yellow, continuing to mirror. Roundabout takes medium blue. Gregory takes medium blue. All right, somebody's got to... Something's going to change eventually here. <clears throat> okay, Roundabout builds the green, which is... Still a match for what Gregory's got. I'd be interested to know if this mirroring tends to happen for longer in 
large universes or small universes like this? Because it seems to me like it's more common in large universes. In small universes, usually something is broken by now. It, at least it seems like it to me. Okay, Gregory spreads out the blue in anticipation of uh, building some blue. Roundabout also spreads out blue. Now the trouble here is if Gregory builds and then Roundabout builds, Gregory will get to build again and Gregory will be up by a large ship. So Roundabout might want to look for something else to do to prevent Gregory from getting a material advantage that way, but no, this is what they like. Okay, Gregory, what you got? Building the large blue, as expected. Roundabout, also building the large blue? Yes. Gregory takes the last one. Okay, does Roundabout have some kind of plan for this... Uh, I don't think Roundabout's got anything particular they can do about this. They might trade the, the B3 for another color, maybe maybe red 3, um, wishing that they could build the B3 that just got put back in the bank, but Gregory could, for example, discover that B3 as a star, keeping it out of Roundabout's hands. Oh, they do. They, they do the trade. Um... Gregory, okay, Gregory can also block the build by trading for more red. That's probably better. Well, no, actually, discovering... Oh, no, no, okay. I, well, hmm. discovering the B3 as a star with the G1 is is pretty interesting. Uh, Roundabout might try to invade, but then Gregory could counter-invade uh, Roundabout's colony, so... I don't know where that would end up, but Gregory doesn't do that. They trade for more red. Uh, I bet Roundabout takes the medium red. Gregory also takes the medium red. And Gregory has more ch room to spare for building red. But Roundabout does not. Uh, so Roundabout will probably want to either spread out their reds so that if a Gregory builds, then Roundabout can also build. Or they might try to block the, the R3 build entirely. Um, we'll see. Okay, they give them more space themselves more space for building red by trading one of them away. Uh, that seems okay. Gregory will probably build. Yeah, there's the... I think that would be too hard to block. Um, roundabout will build, I'm sure. Does Gregory... Uh, set up for a build or start expanding? Think about invading. They could try to set up to invade Deneb. They might trade one of these blues to make them more helpful. They're kind of stranded here. They might even trade the blue for a red. Okay, spreading out the reds is good. Preparing to build. Uh, roundabout will need to, will want to block that, either trading away a red or discovering a red star. I should have pointed out at some point that Roundabout's home is connected to both uh, Roundabout's colony here because it's a small star and to Gregory's uh, large star colony, Altair. Okay, Roundabout. Ah, uh, yes, since they've got two larges now, they can defend the Deneb colony. I think that's a good idea. Uh, roundabout, instead blocking the build. Yeah, discovering the star. I That's pretty okay. The, uh, the B2 in Deneb is still vulnerable, and... And the ship, if... If Gregory were to invade Deneb with the B3 in Altair, the ship that Roundabout would counter-invade with is this R3, uh, which makes... and, and Betelgeuse is a more, has more things in it to capture than Altair does, so Gregory could then... Uh, I guess it would take a Y1 sacrifice, but they could then re-counter-invade Betelgeuse and have a lot more threats than Roundabout does. So I think Roundabout might have been better off reinforcing 
Deneb, but keeping that R3 out of the bank is pretty important too. All right, Gregory now. Looks like they want an investment. Take one of the yellows out of the bank. Prepare to build it for themselves. Or, yeah, I like this even better. Uh, takes a yellow out of the bank, sets them up to build more. Gives them more space for building blue. Just more uh, more diversity all around. That's good. All right, roundabout. Um, yeah, I guess roundabout can get uh, can get Gregory's yellow star this way. Uh, but it'll be fairly costly since Gregory has a yellow star at home. Roundabout invades with the Y3. If Gregory doesn't capture it, then Roundabout can... Uh, I guess sacrifice G3 to build a Y1. So... so oh, no, oh, what am I, what am I saying? Okay. If Gregory doesn't capture the Y3, Roundabout sacrifices R3 to capture lots of stuff in Gregory's homeworld. Home Gregory would surely lose then. So Gregory had better capture this Y3. Then Roundabout can sacrifice Y2 to send the little yellow across the universe to overpopulate Gregory's yellow home star. Gregory's down a star. The homeworlds become connected. Um, Roundabout has lost one of their large ships, and they were already down, even in this current position, they're down three large ships to four. And so this, this invasion will cost them one of those large ships, and on the one hand, there will just be one star of Gregory's left to destroy, but on the other hand, um, they'll need to do some more building of blues, they'll need to get yellows back because they're spending every yellow they've got on this invasion. Um, I think this is too early. I think Gregory, or sorry, I think the roundabout should at least have got their blues in order before trying this invasion. And maybe, I think, honestly, a shopping spree to clean out the yellows would be a good idea instead of this invasion. Um because they're going to need the yellows to destroy Gregory's home star, and they'll need some more yellows to power the blue portion of the, the demolition. So I think this is too early, but let's see if they commit. They do. All right, Gregory has to capture, and Roundabout is surely going to carry out the rest of their plan, sacrificing, bringing the little yellow across for the star demolition. Yeah, but I think Roundabout just spent too much. Um... If I'm Gregory, I think I build the R3 for now. Well, I might not even bother with the R3. I might focus on the material advantage, for example, invading Deneb with mm, probably the blue ship. cut down on uh, Roundabout's blue uh, ability to build more blue, and which would threaten Gregory's home. Okay, Gregory takes the more obvious thing, just taking the R3. That should be okay, too. I think Gregory's still got time to shut down any kind of blue invasion. Well, maybe not as much as I think. Roundabout trades a red back for a yellow. Just the just the medium. Hmm. <clears throat> I think Gregory could still put off their defense for one more turn. but I'm not positive. Um, but Gregory should be pretty nervous at this point. Let's see what they pick. Uh, Y2 Sacrifice. Okay, uh, looks like they think they've got a 
plan of some kind. Oh yes, since I, like I said, the home worlds are connected now, um, and so it doesn't take much to bring reds into uh, Roundabout's home. Okay. So Roundabout loses one of their medium stars, but since their other star is also medium, the connectivity of the home world doesn't change. Um, okay, yeah, I think that's a good move from Gregory. Uh, Roundabout will probably... Well, actually, the thing I don't like about that is that it makes it a little harder for Gregory to invade Deneb. Deneb is uh, Roundabout's big vulnerability. Roundabout needs to build one blue in Betelgeuse, and then they need to not get invaded at that point. If, if Gregory fails to do anything at, at that point in time, Roundabout moves one of their blues into Gregory's home and then sacrifices the Y2 to build to move in the other blue that they had just built and this medium blue for the win. So Gregory now, since their yellow is so much more limited now, <clears throat> They're going to have to sacrifice a Y3. They may have to sacrifice the Y3 to invade Deneb. Roundabout thinking about trading for red. That's... Mm, yeah, that cuts down on the chances of a... Uh, for a counterattack at Roundabout's home. They can't be forced to sacrifice their only red ship in order to... In, defend their home from a single intruder now. Yeah, that was a that was a good call. Yeah, that was that was necessary in fact. Okay, Gregory building blue. I think they're yeah, that looks like they're trying to simply um keep roundabout from getting enough blue. But I'm not positive that's the right approach. I think preparing to invade Deneb for uh, by trading G1 for Y1 in in their home world, for example, so that they could move the red into Deneb would be better because they're not going to be able to stop Roundabout from getting three blues. There's too much blue still in the bank. Oh no, roundabout, it's not time to... Oh, well... Mm. Oh no, I definitely don't like that. I think roundabout's ch chances are in a very quick win, not, not in a material trade that delays the end of the game. Roundabout's down in material too much. I think they needed to keep playing to their strength, which is the fact that they almost have a Doomsday Machine already done. They should take that back. Okay, they do. They simply move a blue to Altair. No, that, that's still looking for a material exchange. That's not the way to go here. I don't think... Unless... Maybe they see something I don't. Maybe something's a lot more urgent than I think. Um, yeah, I don't, I don't see any reason that they need to go quite so hard after Gregory's blues. But that's what they seem to think is, is necessary. Okay. Um, well, I definitely give the advantage to Gregory now. Both players have just the one home star, but Gregory has yellow and blue, which are the colors that are going to be needed for blowing up Roundabout's other star. Roundabout has neither of those. It's going to take them a while just to get back in the back on comfortable footing. Yeah, they build a yellow. They're going to need. They build a red. They're going to need to trade something for a yellow here. <coughs> Gregory spreading out the blues, putting a blue now in a system that's connected to Roundabout's home. That's a good step toward victory. Roundabout trades for yellow. Um, 
Yeah, if they had traded for blue, then they would have died just now. So yellow it's got to be. But uh, Gregory has no problem with building lots of blue. Roundabout's just not going to be able to get blue again. Roundabout builds green. It's not really going to matter. Gregory, um, if I'm Gregory, I sacrifice Y3 right now. Move two blues into Roundabout's home. Move this other blue into a yellow system connected to Roundabout's home. Win on my next turn. There it is. Yeah, so even if Roundabout captures both of these invading blues, um, Gregory wins. And Roundabout resigns. Okay, yeah, well, um, I think this was pretty good. Gregory had a that advantage, and Roundabout um, gave them an even bigger material advantage by invading too early. Uh, Gregory, I don't think Gregory ever invaded a colony, even though I, I think they should have. But the roundabout um, threw more things away. They 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 did that yellow sacrifice to, for a blue overpopulation when I, I really think they should have been trying to finish up their doomsday machine and just hoped that Gregory didn't uh, didn't bother to invade. That Gregory kind of missed it or didn't think about how to uh, interrupt the the doomsday machine, but all right, quite a good game. Uh, thank you for watching.